13 News Now at 6 begins with a big turn in the Pokemon Go murder trial. For the first time, we're hearing from Jonathan Cromwell, the man accused of pulling the trigger, killing a man playing that game. Let's get right to 13 News Now reporter Stephen Graves. And what was Cromwell's story? Well, guys, Cromwell took the stand for hours, talking to the jury about how this was not murder, but what he had to do to save his own life. Jonathan Cromwell faced the jury today, days after sitting by and hearing testimony, now with the chance to tell his story of self-defense. He brought jurors back to that night two years ago when he confronted Jiang Shen Chen in the Riverwalk community of Chesapeake. He says he was patrolling the area in front of the clubhouse and spotted Chen abruptly stop and turn into the driveway in his van. He says he immediately recognized Chen because of a prior run-in for trespassing on the property, saying that night he approached the grandfather in uniform with his amber lights flashing without his gun drawn, moments later saying Chen reversed his van and revved up the engine. Cromwell says he ordered Chen to stop, but the grandfather shook his head no, and then tried to run him over, and he couldn't get out of Dodge. I, I shot because I felt like he was going to run me over. Prosecutors tried to poke holes in his testimony by asking why he fired his shot so rapidly. They questioned why he also did not call the police. They again brought up Cromwell asking a detective about the grouping of his shots moments after the shooting and why he showed video to police of his gun qualification. It was brought up of questions by the forensic technician of what my hobbies were. And so I just wanted to show him the video. At the end of Cromwell's testimony, his attorney, Andrew Sachs, asked him about a conversation he had with a detective, recalling a moment when he said he felt remorse for what he had to do. Yes. You feel that today? Extremely. And interesting, after Cromwell's testimony, he told the jury about an incident where his brother actually died in a car accident months before this shooting. He told them this was on his mind, saying that he had to save himself because he didn't want his mom to get another call about another dead child. Closing arguments start tomorrow. Then this is in the jury's hand to decide. Live in Chesapeake, Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.